Welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 12 of my Oxyodal Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, I'm hoping we get some new visions of the old ones rather soon. I think it comes up every 5 to 10 turns. Oxyodal is upgrading his army. He's got two Bastilodons with the Arca Sotak coming in, and they are upgrading or coming on in at rank 4, which is awesome. We also are finishing off Abyssa and her... What's your action even called? We almost showed up right for success. They've got, I mean, it's a, at least an elite army, but they're building some more up. We just have to crush these last couple settlements, and that'll be that. I also think we're probably going to end up at war with Teclas. Just because Temple Avenue of Gold up here has the Golden Idols, which are amazing. So we may end up squashing the Knife Ears as well as the Undead, so we'll see. Lizard Men Supremacy. Did you guys hear what I was talking about with Teclas? They're going to offer me some cash for a defensive alliance. They did hear what I was talking about with Teclas. Do you guys have... No, you're lucky your settlements are terrible. Let's welcome the war with the elves. All right, the Eastern River Lords bite the dust. Fair enough. I have not played in Cathay on Immortal Empires yet, so I'm not sure what they are starting with. I think they get wiped out by a mixture of um, the Vampirates and Nakai. Even though Nakai is supposed to be a good guy up there, he ends up beating the brakes off of them. Looks like Crudenwald has already fallen yet again. Don't squander what I gave you. We'll go ahead and wake up another Java the Slam. And we might as well... Uh, Catch all the Pokemon. We have all of them but light. And so here we go. Pokedex completed. He's woken up, but we won't summon him into an army just just yet. Oxyidal has his Bastilodons, and we don't have any targets, but can warp away. I think we'll probably change where the capstone is going forward. Probably up here in Zlanhua Peck. That way we can get back to some action a little quicker. Sorosaurus Scarvet, continuing to move up. I have him recruiting some Croxagor from the Cult of Sotek, so hopefully those guys will perform nicely. We no longer have vision on them, which is kind of weird. If we have the enhanced one, I thought that gave us vision on what they were doing as well. But perhaps not. All right, everyone's continuing to move. Let's have Tim Tim. Keep exploring. We need you to find us more gold, buddy. The Doom Glade. We found High Queen Kalita. The best dancer of Gimri. Croc guards over here in Resetra. You need to get over here and help out with Sylvania, my friend. I guess it's not Sylvania anymore. The Conclave of Drakenhof. Got another showdown between Teeny Weenie and Rakarth. Rakarth right. won the last one quite quite handily. Hopefully you can hold the line there, buddy. Right, let's keep Oxyodal moving. Honestly, not a lot else for him to be doing. We can put him out in the ocean and see about grabbing this Skull Island. Grendel jump into Dawn's Light. Probably have you recruit up. Well, I say that. Probably have you recruit no one for now. My man is still over here replenishing. We don't want the rats to come back and reclaim what they just lost. They've got another army going in over here. We could see about catching Brom. Claim Oxial, then what? That shuts off. He's got a couple capitals still. Or no, he doesn't. He just has, he just has Oxial. Well. Let's see if we can catch him. We'll, we'll only try once, because we need to move back over and claim the Star Tower. Both of these, that way we don't have to worry about uh, his Clan Hellkeek or Clan Spittle causing more problems. Skip that. We've got building upgrades. Show me. Show me the Carfax. 
Iron mining pit sounds good. Where's my gold, though? I know there was one that had gold. Did it already get built? I'm confused. Ah, it's tier, merely a tier one settlement. Let's spend the money on that, then. Because that'll get way more income, more recruit rank. And then more recruit rank for even for Scorus, uh, Scarvets. That's quite a good building chain. We need as many of those as we can get. I'll put in some favelas over here at the Lost Palace as well. More money. What's good, woods dwelling? Slan, he would like a defensive alliance. Um, we now nah, he doesn't want to give me any money for it. Fair enough. Let's see if he will confederate with me. Bar Smalter, the angry. He versus Obi Wan. Beautiful. More visions burn across our mind. And before we go take care of those, Lord of Soul. Cult of Sotek would like to join up. We gain Ten and Wayne. Just after he just defeated Krokgar, or not Kro Ooh, he's definitely not fighting Krokgar. Just defeated Rakarth. Could use that to claim that pretty quickly. Alright. Skink's gotta join forces. You're gonna take a diplomacy hit, not a diplomacy hit. Well, we will, but mostly what I'm worried about is the control hit. 44. Let's do it. Welcome to the team. Valiant Lord. All right. Mission aborted. Confederation. And now we're negative 4,000. All right. Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, uh, let's keep that in. We'll keep the Pterodon hatchery. Nay, we need the money. Well, this is a wee bit spooky. Ten and Wayne, you have not been taking care of your settlements very well, my friend. Yeah, why do you have all these cold riders? Get these out of here. Uh, we'll combine them up, probably. Negative 3,000. Or 3,800. Ooh, Ten and Wayne, you're hurting. Let's see about executing Boudicca. If that doesn't work, we'll probably disband him. Ooh, that works for me. Disband yourself. Actually, he costs nothing. Hilarious. All right, we'll execute Corvus then. Ooh, well done. All right, after that, get him out. Does he have more than one lord running around? He's got to, right? You, bro. Although, hang on now. What if we do a, a suicide charge here at the symbol of time? What's at this garrison? What do they have that honestly worries us? Do we crash our skinks in and get them killed? That's the question. I think we... I mean, that's a, it's a lot of wrath to chew through. We're gonna pull back. I've got other places I want to fight. Get rid of this whole army here, because that thing's expensive. Excuse me, this hero can be disbanded as well. There we go. Only down to a negative a thousand. Skrulk is choosing to raid. Well, we're gonna take this opportunity to attack his home settlement then. There's one of the visions. Wait. Let's move you over. And actually, we may still continue to try to ambush. Way closer. All right, now let's send Oxyhodl out and make some money. We've got to destroy this Norska settlement. Palace of Ruin. I'll tell you right now, that's not Norskin. That is Valkia. Yeah, so that's Valkia's last, I believe. Still your tongue, so I may...
Oh yes, we're about to execute the Gore Queen. All right, so the Gore Queen is marked for execution. A sanctum defense that's considered easy. Settlement defense that's considered normal. I like that when it doesn't tell me what I'm fighting. And then these raiders. Sigbal Trigerson. And apparently being at ocean is keeping us from teleporting. Oxyotl is scared of water. No! Okay, it's a super sneaky. Who knows what kind of army that is. All right, well, let's get to shore. Thankfully not lose all of your movement. I think first things first, we'll go defend the Sanctum easy style. Well, hello. Oh, it put me on the opposite side. Dude. I think I can still get in an attack. But I can't defend the Sanctum. That's a wee bit unfortunate. All right, Triven. Time to die. Okay. So it's the same kind of settlement we just assaulted. So I think we're going to use pretty much very similar tactics. Let's put an Arca Sotek on this side and one on this side. They will be the mainstay of the two attacking forces. And then they'll be followed up with the other big beaters, because no one can see the rest of my troops. I'll put the Troglodon over on this end. My explosive boys back a little bit so they're not getting shot by the towers. Left some sneaky skinks. Behind. Oxyadal up front. Cabin up front on this side. Now where's Croak gonna go? The answer is, who knows? Alright, so this will be Strike Force 1. Oxyadal's team, and then we're going to have all of these guys be real sneaky. And they're going to crawl over the walls. And go claim to the back point. I'm going to send them in from two angles just in case they deploy troops to defend against something they can't see. Who knows what they'll actually do. They might put these cab up behind the wall as well. They may still be in line of sight. We'll, we'll see how many I lose before I notice. That'll begin. You better be sneaky, Oxyodle. Beautiful first hit. Alright, send the beaters in. Oh, well, send most of the beaters except for the Coatle in then. Apparently it's going to sit there and absorb shots. You just stay here and keep your friends invisible. Shredder will bring it up as well. Oxyadol, what are you doing? You knocking the gates down? Come here, buddy. Went up and over those walls. We'll move the invisible skinks up. Actually, we should move this Kawadal away. Have them to break the gates down. He's taking a lot of damage on the, the charge in, unfortunately, so we'll heal all three. And then we'll just move them up. Uh, let's not have them attack, because I think they'll become uninvisible then. Alright. Croak's getting blasted. Oh, there's an excellent place to use this, though. Oh, they used that to discover my... My blow dart skinks. Cast a cheaper one. Blow up these three units. Under Empire, unleashed. Under Empire devastated. Alright, so Kevin, I need you... dropping overcast crows on these rats over here. Murder the support specialist. 
then you two move up unopposed. They go all the way. It looks like they are reacting to it. But they're not sure really what's going on. Quattle's chasing the dude on the walls. I would run. Also, it has a banishment, doesn't it? It's a randomly moving, large, 100% armor-piercing spell. Let's drop it here. Die. You must be cleansed. It's the Mr. Clean of the old ones. Although it's going the wrong way. Did you kill that rat already? Where'd he go? Yum yum, eat him up, I guess. Alright. To battle. Everyone in together. I'm gonna have these guys take the walls and shoot down with their blowpipes. Yeah, that's that's some rat stuff right there, because they they don't know anyone's actually there. They're, just, they're summoning units. That's silly. Alright. Death to you. We'll have our chameleons. I think we have them fall back. Yeah, they're gonna take another charge, unfortunately. Although those guys may immediately turn around and run. There it goes. We're blowing them up. Quattle's taking some damage. Oh, he has to. F Wait, where's my Arcasotag? I know you're in there. Bam! Snakes. <laughs> Why did that to be snakes, Jacques? You know the rats hate snakes. Do an explosion of Issel just because. And then we'll overcast another one of these. Rip and tear. Our beautiful wall skinks are doing their thing. The sneaky skinks are moving through the city. Incredibly spread out, unfortunately. I think that's a side effect of come over the walls. Well, good, they've got a couple guys that can go claim that part of the town, then. Send the snakes in. Pulls the battleship. And then, honestly... Death to the rats. Down with the bloody big head. We'll send Oxyodal in, so he's getting his poison. Move extra fast, dude. Otherwise, you're not going to get to do any fighting at all. They're all clumped up over here. <laughs> These poor rats. Alright, Strike Force Alpha, how are y'all doing? Look to be doing alright. We've got a bound meteor we can drop in here. Let's drop it on that cluster of rats. I almost kicked in the Prime Evil Roar and stopped it. Death. Boom. Should we run? Should you? I think so. More snakes. <laughs> snakes unleashed. Reclaiming the main. These night runners are moving over to stop our stalkers. Looks like. Basically, just big monsters munching on poor innocent rats. Yeah, you summon them down there, they're just gonna get shot to death. An excellent summon. Now you guys are taking a wee bit of damage. Heal that on up. I cannot abide damage. Looks like my Arca Sotek Bastilladon's having a little bit of issues. Let's do a blast of Itza. Move on away. Another primeval roar. Turn back around. Crows for all. We've claimed this point. Let's bring the stalkers into combat. Finally. There's nowhere to run. Now let's bring them up to claim at this point. Beautiful. Oxyadal and Croak are just chilling out to survey the carnage. Deploy the snakes. The 
special forces snakes. Keep smacking him. Go ahead and put the melee damage reflection on him. Drop another heal on this group, which is looking a wee bit injured. More snakes. More snakes and more crows. Explosive blowpipes. Send this group in. Oh, and a victory. Tons of meat for the Empire. A decisive 79 lost. And it looks like a lot of that was our Blessed Horned Ones. Who set up on the hill and got shot. Alright, we shall definitely go ahead and just occupy. This is one of the ones we wanted to claim anyway. Counts as an elven colony. I don't know if that works for us. We'll find out here in a moment. No, doesn't seem like it. Has a training pin. Not interested. We shall have to see what else you've got. Got an obsidian quarry. Would you like to see that? That is a wee bit unfortunate, though, because we... Luckily, all of these are stuff we can do in one turn, so we can warp, 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 and then come back here and destroy the settlement. Could be worse. Alright, we've claimed that one. We've got 3,000 in the bank now. And then Wayne tried to bankrupt us. Oh, and they haven't actually done that bad with his skills. Normally, they are abysmal. Okay, so we shall work on... Probably your magic, then. Yeah, probably pans and penetrable pelt. We may need... I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to... Because we're, we're going to be fighting against Dark Elves with him. He's on a Ripper Dactyl. Extra damage when fighting against Skaven. Got to deal with the Dark Elves first. Maybe we'll grab an Amber Spear then. Just for some single target damage. And Tin Wayne's army is a bit weak, so... We'll kick out this group of Javelin Cohort. And we'll add in Blessed Saurus. We can give him the Colossodon Hunters as well, but probably here in a moment. You've got to use what you got for now. Let's go into Ambush Stance. See if I can't catch Alyssa here slipping. Yes, sir. The slow march continues. She's over there continuing to recruit up a massive force. A mighty war host. Well, we have one as well. Ours is full of lizards. It's in Temtem -tem continuously north. Up into the Badlands. Krokar has expanded in interesting directions. Interesting indeed. Keep you away from Sigball over there. And we can't really recruit you up any more troops. We're just going to have you as, as defense and Dawn's Light for now. Everyone else is either being sneaky or wounded. I think it's mostly wounded because I disbanded you, though. Any provinces we want to spend money on? Probably not, actually. We need every last penny. Commandments, though. I will happily throw in. I think over here... 
Probably a good idea to grab the alignment of crafting. We'd build the pylon if we had more cash. Mario only costs a thousand, takes a turn, and will actually start generating us more income. We'll do that first. Ooh. We'll see. No whammies. Land Pestilence. It's moved on Ketza. Yeah, we kind of... Trying to figure out how they... They just pushed up and attacked one of the towns. Yeah, makes sense. Fight where I'm not. Listen, Alberic, you don't want war. Oh, but they have ended their non-aggression, so maybe they do want war. Enemy army failed to spot our ambush. Oh, one of the ghosts of Pahawk's armies is attacking Sigbal. Can I deny the attack? Because I don't... If I fail to kill them, doesn't that, ba doesn't that backfire against me? I'm kind of curious to find out. Let's let's let Autoresolve auto -resolve kill our troops, and then let's see. I was going to just decline the attack, but let's see if we get punished for science. Born Killers. The latest spawning of Soros warriors appear to be far more belligerent than any you remember in recent times. Ferocity and resolve are called for when combating the foe, but your forces must also consider the Great Plan's higher purpose and not sacrifice themselves unduly. Will you embrace their vicious nature or order the re uh, or order retraining for a more balanced army? We either lose melee defense or melee attack. Uh, let's let's not be reckless. We have all of the blow darts. Oh, okay, so they just moved up and sacked Ketza. Because they're rude. He's close enough to reinforce, too. That was... A clever play there, Skrulk. Be a shame if we manage to catch you in an ambush. Scoot up a wee bit more and then back into Sneaky Toad stance. Once it's def defeat. Oh, it's probably the one that's here waiting to ambush the settlement. I believe this one's blowing up the settlement. Or attempting to. Iron mines. Cost 15, we'll wait. Oxyodal, we will move over and claim this mission, the March of Chaos. The puppets of chaos approach with ruinous intentions. How do we know that? Maybe they just want to play Twister. With our souls. The Blood Axe Tribe. That's a really weak army. We're going to go ahead and allow the Outer Resolve to uh, crush them. And we'll harvest materials. Or ammunition. Blood Axe Tribe gone. We gained a Biting Blade. I'd love to throw in a tower there, but instead we'll just put in the Obsidian Quarry. Um, and I'm tempted to use this turn. Oh, looks like we didn't get punished. So we, next time, we'll fight that and see if we can do a little bit more damage. Although I always flub up the, uh, the ambush missions. Real good at failing. Let's see, I think we will move on the Fuming Serpent and finish them off. Claim ourselves another province and get rid of this enemy. Oh, just kidding. There were no rats here. Well, in that case, we will leave it lose some of our movement, but we'll continue our slow march. Defend this settlement here. Alright. The puppets of chaos approach with ruinous intentions. Now they're just puppets. Ooh, a much bigger army. Let's fight this one. Alright. This looks pretty scaven corrupted. Let's start deployment. We were running low on beef for our burgers, but they have delivered much. We do definitely need to keep them away from our line of skinks. And 
if you have our Slice to bring down as well, it's going to be Oxyadl's job. As well as No Name, who shall die in obscurity. Let's do it. They have no range, so nothing at all can mess with my Coatl. Oh wait, they've got some flyers. Harpies. Let's see how Harpies fare against a Coatl. Let us hide these dudes beneath the Coatl. I believe that's how that works. say that. Let's keep them back a little bit. Minotaurs would probably cause them much mental distress and physical distress. Let's put the Arcasotec there and then one over here to jump into that group of gores. Shredder in broadside mode. Put some horned ones up in this area just to draw them in. We'll stick a troglodon under here as well. Well, it's Kevin. Lord Croak. Hanging out with the salamanders. And then the destroyers of worlds. Keep them over here. Thoxiotl up front. Put two of them up here on this hill. Because they've got the bonus versus uh, infantry. And we'll put one more of these guys over here. Come out of the forest. I think the stalkers are going to be not used as much in this battle, just because the minotaurs will be very mean to them. Let's grab two of them, put them on this side. The other two, three rather, over here. And we'll just rush them in together. Or not. We'll find out. Time to hunt down some beasts. Slip you immediately into sneaky mode. Let's drop the harpies first. Ooh, they know where you are. Oh, are they just going to try to escape? Ye cards. Could have seen that coming. They didn't stick it in fight like Teach did. Oh, shoot. Get them back. Looks like the Jabber Slyth noticed them. Melt back into the woods, please. Oh, they are turning to fight. Okay. Just run. Some of them left. Some of them chose to escape. Drop a banishment in the middle of that group. All of the Minotaurs ran away, so we will have to deal with them, looks like. broadsided. Now nah, just charge into that belligerent group of gore. Drop the snakes. Which are good boy snakes and don't bite any of our friendly units. Seattle's in a bad spot. Move Earth to get out of there, sir. We'll have the Shredder come hunt down the Beast Lord, who bravely is running away. Chariots are having a bad day. Oh, two of the units got left behind. And Tuscor chariots are falling. And they're out of there. Come on back over and deal with them. Minotaurs and Jabber Slice should be no problem. Ooh, big gator involved. And victory. I'm going to allow us to kill the Jabber Slyth and as many of these. I think they're pretty much going to be out of here, but we'll get y'all back on the map. A decisive victory. We lost two, but most of their Minotaurs turned and ran the second the battle began, so we may have to hunt down some more. Oh, no, they, they've... Faded on away, so you don't even have to... Technically, if you want, you can just let them escape. And you win. Awesome. Okay, so let's teleport you then, sir. Over here to hunt these raiders. We took no damage. 
Sigball. Oh, your army is very weakened, sir. What happened? Target practice. Beautiful. Start deployment. Got some mammoths at half health. The mammoth of the war shrine. And some champions. No one's impressed with your Vermeer. You have some armored skin wolves, and that is where we will be sending our Shredder of Lustria. Keep them locked down while he chews on them and everyone else fires in. Get some fire ammo and some poison. The Quaddle on this side as well, no ranged. So again, the Quaddle is completely safe. Rogladon and Kevin together. These skin wolves can close the gap pretty quickly, and there's a lot of them, so we'll keep Boxyotl. I want to keep him back just a little ways. Armored skin wolves. Let's have the blowpipes with explosives. And we'll keep them back till we really need them. Pretty good to keep them safe. Alright, let's get it. Poison on that one. We'll have you guys scoot on over. Wiggle on over, skinks. Fire the golden blowpipe. Alright, some armor sundering shots out. Come back into the woods. Not really sure where those skin wolves are going, but they've got a plan. Let's drop some stalkers somewhere. And we'll wait. No reason to burn them yet. Send up the shredder. whole bunch of marauders move up and get those crazy high missile strength shots in get the arca sotek up get epically gunned down go ahead and put the thorns on Mastilodon. Summon in a unit of stalkers over here. And then we'll rotate these forces over. Keep moving through, Oxyodl. I'm also going to take you off of sneaky mode so you continue to regenerate. Skin wolves are running those guys down, unfortunately. Let's get the explosives in. A lot of smacking going on over there. Where's Croak? Let's put your shield down. Big bubble oh nope. Keep getting those shots in. Where's my Arcasotech Mastilodon? It's either rampaged or dead. Did it did it die? Oh no, it's over here. I'm a fool. It's in a different group. Absolutely annihilating these skin wolves and Famir. Primal roars in. 
And it looks like the end for chaos. Heat seeking blow darts all hitting the same guy. Oh, the mammoth is going to crush some of my skinks, sadly, though. <laughs> you should have moved. Now we're going to hunt down some of these units and I'll, I'll catch y'all back on the map. Another name crossed off our list. Excellent. We will release them, though, because that's a lot of money. And then, when they think they're free, we shall slay them. And release them yet again. Why not? I'm all about friendliness, right? Can we get into March Dance and get back into home? That would be wonderful. There we go. Full sweet O replenishment. Let's pass out some skill points. And that's going to be all the time I've got. Let's go ahead and give you... I think fleet Fleetfooted. Make it even faster. Up to 115. Oh, was I right? 15% going to take us all the way up to 120? We'll find out. Croak. Finish off income, and then we'll make it so you can blow up walls. It damages walls, buildings, and lowers the uh, settlement level. Let's do transcendental state so we can do it more often. Just in case anywhere has some walls we don't want to deal with, we'll just send Croak in to smack them. Feels like cheating to have him in every battle, so using him to knock down some walls is probably something we're going to do. But that's going to be all the time I've got for today. I have been at Space Wizard Dota War. Leave a like and subscribe if you didn't get to me today, and I'll see you all in the next one.